Right now, there's something incredible happening energetically on the planet, and I can't wait to share with you what it is. Yes! In this video, you'll learn the top energy shift that's happening right now and the biggest issue that it can cause in us humans. And then I'm going to share four tips to help you better work with this new energy. Coming up. The enrollment window for Awaken is now officially open! Hello, beautiful soul. That intro that you just saw is from my brand new course, Awaken, which launches today. The enrollment window opens today. I designed Awaken to help people get through a difficult spiritual awakening and come to a place of stability and clarity on what to do next and what steps to move forward to. Awaken is a six week course with step-by-step -step practice videos that will help you ground and stabilize your energy immediately, especially if you're going through a spiritual awakening and are feeling lost and confused on what's happening to you. We'll also have a strong private community of fellow students and our experienced coaches that will support you throughout the time that we're together and many more perks associated with this course. Awaken is only open once a year and the enrollment doors stay open for only a few days. So if you're feeling a pull to join this course, I hope to see you there. Jump on that pull right away. Awaken officially launches on July 26th. To learn more about this transformation course and to sign up for the course, you'll see a link in the description box below. And I hope to see you in Awaken. On to part one of the video, the energy right now. So um, my guides have really been stressing um, kind of a shift in energy, a dramatic shift in energy and what my guides are calling a tipping point. All right. So this is the expression that they used, a tipping point. And really, this has been a tipping point, not just since the energy uh, that started in the beginning of 2020 with the COVID pandemic, since 2020 into the end of 2020, when we officially were brought into what's called the age of Aquarius. And from that point, from the end of 2020 till now, we've had a succession of astrological events that have really been preparing the energy for what's happening right now. Specifically, the last two eclipses that we had on May May 26th in Sagittarius, and then on June 10th in Gemini. It was after that June 10th eclipse in Gemini that we had this major, what my guides are calling a major tipping point in energy. And really what's happening is the energy is moving from an energy that was more contracted since the beginning of the pandemic. We kind of all went inward. Um, there were a lot of quarantines and confinements and all of that. And that energy was pulling us inward. And now now, since the eclipse of June 10th, the energy sort of exploded out and we're going from a state of more contraction to a state of expansion, a ton of expansion, especially since this last, um, this last solar eclipse in Gemini on June 10th, these last two eclipses really. And so what my guides are stressing is not just an acceleration of, an, of the energy, but expansiveness in the energy. There's a lot of, there's a huge theme of expansiveness in the energy of, of acceleration, but things just opening up. That's another term that just fell on my head right now opening up. The energy is really opening up. There's a lot of forward momentum in this energy. And so that's kind of a consequence of, of, you know, what happened after these, these lunar eclipses and the solar eclipses, uh, that we've had recently preparing us for this expansive energy that's now hitting planet earth. So the energy themes right now, some of the words that are coming through for, for the theme of this energy is things like excitement, uh, expansive is another word, a lot of excitement, 
Um, and then more energy words like buzzing and vibrating. <laughs> okay, so the energy is so expansive and it's so, it's kind of, there's this percolating um, buzzing to it. If you, if you can tap into the energy, if you quiet your mind and just relax your body, you're actually able to tap into the buzzing or the vibration of the energy that's, that's here right now. Okay, so these are some of the themes of this energy. A lot of excitement, a lot of openness, a lot of expansion, vibration, movement in the energy, and a buzzing, a buzzing, a humming. That's another good word for it. There's a humming that's going on in this energy that when you're in calm and quiet meditation, you definitely can tap into. So these are some of the qualities of what's happening right now. And this is all wonderful and amazing and just spectacular, but there's a, a flip side to this. And that the flip side is that whenever we have these waves of extremely expansive energy entering the planet, the, the side effects, sometimes one of the side effects of, and one of the biggest issues that people can have when we have this type of energy come in is that we can start to feel restless, okay? So we can start to feel restless in this energy. And the reason that we're feeling restless is because really primarily because of a misinterpretation of the ego. <laughs> the mind really starts to misinterpret the energy. So a lot of times when the ego starts to perceive this buzzing, this excitement, this expansion, this vibration in energy, Sometimes what happens is the mind can interpret that as something being wrong. <laughs> There's something wrong. So the mind starts to interpret the new energy, this vibration and this buzzing as something being wrong, and that can lead to restlessness. And if the restlessness is not really worked through, it could even go beyond restlessness into panic and anxiety and really a state of feeling stressed and nervous, okay? So this is probably the biggest issue happening with people right now. One of the biggest side effects is that if you don't know that what's going on, if you don't know that it's a new energy wave that's entering the planet right now, and you let your mind start interpreting it, you may find yourself feeling very restless and, and kind of uneasy with the energy to a point where you may actually be feeling anxiety or, or panic attacks in the extreme end of it. Aside from the general sense of feeling restless or a little bit wired with this new energy, there's also another issue that I wanna talk about because it's been really stressed by my guides a lot, all right? And it's the idea that when this, this new wave, when new energy hits the planet, one of our systems, one particular system is really important in and needs adjustment to the new energy, and that's the nervous system, okay? If you've heard, if you've seen my videos before and when I talk about the nervous system, the nervous system, there's an important thing to remember about the nervous system, and that is that the nervous system is the mediator between spirit and matter, okay? So it's your nervous system that actually takes spirit impulses or quantum impulses or non-physical impulses and turns them into physical manifestations in 3D reality, okay? And so your nervous system is ex an extremely important mediator between spirit and matter. And that mediator, that nervous system needs time to adjust when we have energy shifts like this, okay? And this adjustment in the nervous system, sometimes you may feel yourself being a little bit sensitive in your nervous system during these major energy shifts, okay? And again, the restlessness, the anxiety coming in, that could also also be because that nervous system is a little bit in excitation. It's a little bit sensitive because it's adjusting to the new energy. But again, remember that your nervous system can adjust to the new energy without you going into panic mode, without you going into any type of restlessness, because if you remember that you don't need the mind to misinterpret things, and if you don't misinterpret as something being wrong, so if your mind stops misinterpreting and calling the new energy, calling the buzzing or the vibration as something being wrong or not well, if that, if that kind of interpretation, if that misinterpretation quiets down, your nervous system will be able to adjust to this new energy with a lot more ease and a lot more speed, okay? So this is something that I really, really wanted to stress here, and that that is just quiet down this misinterpretation. Pay attention to the mind loops that you have going on. If you're feeling the new energy, if you're feeling a little bit restless, then pay attention to what your mind is saying in regards to that restlessness. 
Because if your mind is telling negative stories like there's something wrong with me, uh, I don't know what's happening to me, if you start to let yourself go into these mental loops, the restlessness and the anxiety is going to get worse, not better. You're going to be ungrounding yourself instead of grounding yourself. So as you're going through, as your nervous system is adjusting, you don't have to worry about how your nervous system adjusts. The, our systems really adjust to new energy very spontaneously. They're very intelligent. They know what they're doing. So what we could do, what our lower selves, the human self could do, is assist those symptom, those systems in, in, um, in the shift. And one of the best ways to assist your nervous system right now is to just quiet your mind, pay attention to the mental loops and any kind of misinterpretation that your mind is having about this energy, and release those misinterpretations, just say everything's okay, it's just my nervous system that's adjusting to this new incredible energy. On to part two of the video, what to do in this new energy. So a little bit of a continuation of what we were just talking about. Now that you know what's happening, now you're going to be able to, to master this energy a little bit more without, you know, without getting too wired or going into short circuit, okay? So here are my top four tips to kind of help you start working with this energy so you're a lot more grounded and your adjustment to the energy goes a lot more quickly. The first tip, probably the top tip, is do not panic. <laughs> Do not panic. Again, I'm going to stress it again. Pay attention to the mental interpretation that your mind is giving to this new energy. Okay. You don't need to get into panic mode. If you're getting into panic mode with these new energies, it's because within that mind of yours, consciously or subconsciously, there's a loop. There's a thought loop that's kind of holding on to negativity. It's saying that something's wrong. Um, it's sounding alarms that something's dangerous or something dangerous is about to happen. So if you catch that loop and you disintegrate that loop, if you quiet the misinterpretations of the mind, you're going to bring yourself out of any kind of panic mode that you could be in, okay? So you don't have to get to panic. There is no reason to get to the extreme of panic, especially if you know what's going on and if you know to just relax yourself. Awareness of what's happening, awareness that we're in a new energy is in itself soothing uh, already, okay? So don't panic. There's no need to panic. Everything is okay. Catch the mental loops and the misinterpretations of the mind quiet those mental loops down and you'll see you'll be able to calm the system down pretty immediately by just doing this. Now, if you need a little bit more help on how to reassure the mind and quiet down the negative loops or the misinterpretation loops that the mind may have, I love to use soothing mantras. It's, it's a great way to calm the ego down is just by using soothing mantras. So you can stand in front of a mirror, Take a nice deep breath and just say to yourself, you repeat out loud. If you could repeat it out loud, it's even more powerful. But just repeat out loud in front of the mirror, everything is okay. It's just an energy shift on the planet. I'm safe. I'm fine. I'm well. <laughs> you see, just start repeating and make your own mantras. These are just some examples that I shared with you. Make your own mantras, but stand in front of the mirror. Use nice deep breaths. Look at yourself in the mirror as you repeat. Everything is okay. I'm safe. All is well. I'm just, we're just going through a shift on the planet. And you just keep giving yourself this reassuring self-talk when you do that, you'll disintegrate the misinterpretation or the red flag loops that are going on in your mind. And that'll immediately help quiet, bring you down from any state of panic or anxiety and bring you more into a grounded state with a more quiet mind. Tip number two is to smile and laugh. <laughs> now this can seem like it doesn't make any sense, but laughter is extremely important in shifting energy. It's not a coincidence that there are such things as laughing meditation. There's such a thing as laughing yoga. These, these are actual branches of meditation and yoga that exist. And it's because laughing, smiling and laughing shifts your energy. They are incredible at shifting energy. And I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but if if it's ever happened to you that, you know, one day you feel sad and you go out to coffee with a friend and you're just sad about something, 
but suddenly your friend does something silly and you just both start laughing out of nowhere and you just keep laughing, you keep laughing and pretty soon you feel better, don't you? Like you feel better if someone does something funny for you to laugh when you're feeling sad. And this is just an example of what laughter can do. Laughter is so powerful at shifting the energy. And smiling and laughter is really important right now because it resonates very strongly with this new energy. One of the words that I use to describe this energy is excitement joy, excitement. This energy is programmed with the vibration of joy and excitement. So if you laugh, if you smile more, you're going to be tapping into this energy already. The more that you're able to laugh, the more that you're able to smile, you're going to be raising your vibration and you're going to be really locking in to the new energy on the planet, which means that you're going to adjust to it more quickly. And you can do, you can practice laughing by just going to, you know, a laughing yoga or a laughing meditation or downloading one down downloading a laughing meditation audio track or something like that. Or you could just grab some popcorn and watch a silly movie, like watch a comedy on TV. Just find ways to put yourself in a place where you'll be smiling and laughing more, okay? The more that you do this, the more that vibration will be locking into the new energy and the better you will feel. Tip number three is to breathe low, okay? So what does this mean? So this is a type of deep breathing where the breathing isn't coming from the top of the lungs. You're breathing really low in your abdomen, okay? And you'll notice that if I start to breathe low in my abdomen, my voice starts to get deeper and deeper and deeper. That's what you want to do. You want to go, you want to breathe down into the stomach. You can even put your hands on your stomach and when you breathe in, your stomach expands, it looks like a beer belly, and then when you breathe back out, your stomach goes back in, okay? You want the breath to go down, down deep. You wanna be breathing very low in your system, not from up here and from your shoulders, okay? And you can, you know, you can, you can download a meditation track. You can just practice this on your own without any meditation track or any music or anything. You can practice this on your own. You can just put your hands on your belly and practice bringing the air down and low into your system, very low. The more that you do this, the reason that we're breathing low is because the, the lower that you breathe, the more you're going to fire a nerve that's called the vagus nerve, okay? The vagus nerve is a really important relaxation nerve in the human body. The lower you breathe, the more you're firing that nerve, the more you fire the vagus nerve, the more relaxed you feel, okay? The vagus nerve is really important. But also, low breathing is a really good to help ground us. The lower you breathe, the more you feel grounded to the earth. The more you breathe from the top of your lungs and from your shoulders, the more ungrounded you are, okay? So this breathing will help you ground so that you don't short circuit and feel restless, okay? So you're gonna be grounded and feel, feel more grounded as you're adjusting to this new energy. If you want to go further into grounding other than this breathing low, you can download one of my free meditations that, that's called the Earth Star Activation. You can download this free, it's a free meditation, download it, work with that meditation paired with this breathing low, and you're gonna be able to ground even more. I'm gonna leave links to, to my free resources page in the description box below so you can download that meditation after watching this video. Tip number four is to have fun. <laughs> so this one is very similar to the tip that I said about smiling and laughing. Having fun, you're essentially doing the same thing. You're, you're training your vibration up so you can lock into this new energy. Because again, as I said, the themes of this new energy, the energy signature of this new energy is a lot of excitement, a lot of joy, a lot of expansiveness. So the more that you have fun, the more you expand your energy and you can lock in to this, to this new energy. And by having fun, it could be something as extreme as going skydiving as I've done before. Cause I'm, you know, I'm a little bit of an, an adrenaline addict. So I love skydiving. It could be something as, as, as extreme as skydiving or going on a roller coaster. There's another example. Or it could be something as simple as just putting on some hiking shoes and heading out to the great outdoors and just having a wonderful hike. You know, that may be fun for you. But the point is, find things that you truly enjoy and that are fun for you and go do those things. Go do those things because that'll be training your vibration up the more you enjoy life. This is really a time, my guides are stressing this so much, that this is a time to enjoy, just enjoy life, to have fun, 
to be lighthearted, to be free, okay? This is this is the time to do that. The more that you give yourself the opportunity for this, you know, enjoyment and excitement and fun, the more your vibration is gonna lock into this new energy, the easier it'll be for you to adjust to it. Now, one key aspect of this having fun tip here is that what you're doing when you're having fun, I, I keep pointing here to my chest because really, this is really about tapping into the joy of your heart. The joy of your heart, your heart, it just feels so much joy. It's always excited. It's right there. And so you're just chap tapping into this beautiful energy. When the heart is having fun, when the heart is in joy, it opens and it expands a lot. This really helps to train, again, your vibration up. Remember, always remember that your heart chakra, this energy center right here, is your most powerful chakra, most powerful energy center of the human body. The more that you work with it, the more that you tap into its natural resonance, the more your vibration goes up and the more you'll lock into this new energy on the planet and you'll be feeling this lightheartedness and this joy a lot more easily. Now I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below, are you feeling the intensity of this new energy that I just talked about in this video? I want to hear all about it in the comments below. Click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel or head over to my website where you can join my course Awaken that launches today. And don't forget this Earth Star activation meditation that I talked about. This will be great for you to do after this video. All right, beautiful soul, I love you. I'm out.